uh, Dan Callaway here on your Linux Unix tech channel and uh, I'm in HybridX 3.1 right now Linux from Paul Turner and uh, we're going to talk about HTOP today. So HTOP is a utility uh, that you have to install on most Linux distros. Uh, it, uh, Linux distros come uh, typically with TOP installed which uh, allows you to examine the TOP processes that are running in Linux, but not HTOP, so that's something you have to install. So I've already gone ahead and installed HTOP here, and I have it uh, an icon out on the desktop. Uh, but before we launch it, let me go ahead and open a terminal, and let's do a man of HTOP to show you what HTOP looks like in the man pages. And it's an interactive process viewer, uh, very powerful. Uh, it is similar to top, as I said, but uh, a little more involved, a little more complex. Um, some of the tasks that you can perform within HTOP are things like killing processes, uh, re-nicing processes. We'll talk about nice this here in a moment. Um, and then there are some other things you can do, like uh, changing the delay on uh, HTOP on how often it refreshes the screen. Use the D switch here for tenths of a second. So let me uh, let me go out here and um, hit the Q to quit. And if I take, run HTOP with the D switch and do 10, or let's say 30, it's going to be 30 tenths of a second or three seconds. And so that means it will launch HTOP, and then the screen will refresh every three seconds. Okay, which is about what it looks like it's doing right now. All right, so here is HTOP. Um, HTOP is a in curses uh, utility, which means that it's kind of a, it looks like kind of like a GUI, but it's not really a GUI. It's in the terminal, but it does have a GUI-like interface on it. Um, here are my CPU one and two. This is a dual-core processor here in the system uh, that I'm running HybridX 3.1 as a, a virtual machine in Oracle in virtual box. Uh, so this kind of shows you how each of these CPUs are running. Uh, here's the memory. I've got 8 gigs of RAM in this system, and you can see that this is about a fourth of the 8 gigs being uh, allocated uh, to uh, HybridX 3.1 right now. This is the amount of swap being used, and as you can see, we are not using any swap at all. Off to the right, you have uh, tasks view. We've got 90 tasks in the system, 133 threads, and one uh, task is running right now. Um, load average, you've got uh, one minute, five minutes, and 15 minutes. And then for a dual core system, anything under two is great. So uh, for single core, it's one. So right now I'm running a load average of 0, 0, and 0 0.01. That means that the, the load on the CPUs for every, uh, on average, every minute is practically nothing, uh, practically nothing for every five minutes, and then practically nothing for every 15. Uh, the uptime here is 47 minutes, 51 seconds currently. Let's take a look at HTOP configuration over here. You've got various columns across the top. Uh, this is the process identifier. Uh, every process within Linux, starting with process number one, uh, gets uh, created in Linux, and that's how Linux identifies it. So we're looking here at console uh, with a process ID of 5563. Um, the user here is the uh, user that's that launched or spawned the process. So they define here spawn the process. Uh, the priority is the system priority, and right now it's uh, priorities can go from um, zero to a hundred. Uh, niceness is something that um, Linux uses to identify uh, a process and how likely it is to allow another process to step on it. Okay, By default, niceness is zero. Uh, the range of niceness is uh, minus 20 to plus 19. Uh, the lower the number, uh, the uh, less likely that process is to turn over its priority to another process that's running. So if you had something that has a niceness of, say, 20, that means it's very likely to 
uh, step out of the way and let another process uh, take over if necessary in the system. CU time means child user CPU time. Okay. Uh, CS time is child system CPU time. Uh, vert means that this is the amount of virtual memory being allocated to each of these processes over here. S is the state. S means here under S that that means that this particular process is sleeping right now. R means that it is running. So HTOP D30 is running right now. And we, we launched that one just now. So you did see that. CPU percentage, this is the amount of CPU being used for each of the processes. And if you highlight the or click on the, the header, it uh, rearranges in ascending or descending order. So this is the most using CPU time right now is the console. Memory the same way. If I hit that, 2.5% uh, memory is being allocated to this particular process right now. Um, and console is using about 1.7% memory. This is the amount of time right now being for each of these process processes to be running. And then here is the command itself. Okay. Now down at the bottom, You've got a help function, you've got setup for F2, uh, search F3, filter F4, tree, F5, etc., etc. Uh, if I hit F1 on the keyboard right now, uh, it takes me out to the help function. Uh, and this is showing me everything that is available in the help function. So I can see that F2 function key is a setup key. Right? So let me go back out again and let me hit F2. And you can see this is the setup for HTOP. Uh, we're on the meters right now. So left column is what you see here, or the right column is what you see here. And then the available meters uh, that you can have is here, OK? And so we have 1, 2, memory, and swap is the left column. Right column is task, counter, load average, and uptime. Now I can add to that if I want, but I'm choosing not to at this time. All right, so let me hit F2 again. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, let's go down. Here's the display options. Um, hide kernel threads is checked. Uh, display threads in a different color is checked. Show program path is checked. Highlight large numbers in memory counter. And leave a margin around header. OK. Let's go down to colors. Right now it's in, in the default color scheme. And then columns. Here are the columns that you saw that were active, starting with PID, then user, priority, niceness, uh, CU time, CS time, etc. Okay, And then here are all the available columns that I can add to those if I so desire. All right, so let's, uh, let's escape that and get back to HTOP. Um, if I want to uh, launch something and track it, I can do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go um, out to the system, and I'm going to, um, let's see here, Internet. I'm going to fire up FileZilla. Okay, that's a file transfer protocol uh, application. So let's go back to HTOP now. We should see FileZilla on the list. Uh, so let's do, it's, it's refreshing every three seconds here. Uh, there's FileZilla, okay? Uh, so if I didn't know where to, to find it, you know, I do have a search functionality. So let me do F3, and then I can type in a FileZilla. Okay, and then here's FileZilla. All right, so if I want to kill FileZilla, in other words, to stop this process from running, what I can do is I can hit F9, uh, function key, and that's to kill the process. <clears throat> so let's do F9 again. Right, that highlights the process, and then I can use the SIG term uh, to kill the process. And you'll notice when I did that, it killed it right away. Now, if SIG term doesn't close the process, you can often use the F9, uh, which is the uh, SIG kill um, <coughs> uh, notification, which means if uh, an application doesn't want to play nice and kill normally, you can kill it. Uh, and it, it cannot bypass the kill. Okay? So we have other functionality as well. You can do nice up and nice down, which is changing the niceness. It's called re-nicing 
an application or process rather. Um, you can lower its niceness, which means it's less likely to give up um, its process that's running to get out of the way and let another one take over with system time. If you up the process with F8, uh, up the niceness rather with F8, uh, it is uh, more likely uh, to give up its uh, process time in the system to allow another process to run in the system itself. Okay. If I had F5 here, uh, I get a tree uh, appearance over here. And of course, our HTOP D30 here is under, um, under the bin bash. Okay. Uh, and then the very first application or process, I keep saying application, very first, first process that, that spawned in the system when I launched HybridX 3.1 is SBIN and its splash, and that's a PID1. So that's process ID 1. Every other process in the system falls under the parent uh, process, which is uh, SBIN. Uh, and it's a child process, okay? So this one that I've got right now highlighted, XF setting SD happens to be the uh, 1220th process ID that, uh, or process that was spawned in the system. So it has a process ID of 1220, all right? So this has been HTOP, give you a little idea of what HTOP looks like uh, and what it's used for. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F10 and get out of HTOP. I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen and exit the system. Get back to HybridX 3.1. So uh, this has been a, a video on the use of HTOP. And uh, there is no graphical user interface for HTOP uh, itself currently in most Linux distros. There was one called PROC EXP for process, process uh, Explorer, but it's been uh, deprecated, and so I think uh, HTOP uh, sits alone as your way of monitoring processes in the system, and there is no GUI overlay that will allow you to uh, sit on top of HTOP and, and use it as a uh, more formidable GUI. All right, so have a good day. Thank you.